So this video is going to take you through the steps to download Jump or JMP. So what you want to do first is go to your Cal Poly portal page and on the left hand side uh, of your navigation you'll notice one of the options is technical service request. So we're going to click technical service request and we're going to ask for a software request from Cal Poly's department. So we can hit new software request and in the publisher name down here we're just going to type in JMP. I'm going to type in JMP and I'm going to hit that little hourglass to search for different files associated with JMP. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down until we see Jump 15.1. Now you can use this one for Mac or Windows. And so we're going to hit the little red arrow to import this Jump file. And we're going to go all the way to the bottom. We're going to accept the terms. You could read the terms if you want. I just risk it for the biscuit and go all the way hit accept. We're going to download this information and it's going to bring about if we scroll down a little bit more four different files. So make sure you don't hit these yet. These are uh, certain licensing files that we may need later on. I don't believe it will but we may need later on. Right here are our jump um, actual applications. So since I have a Windows computer and I want to be intense. I'm going to pick the Pro version, Jump 15 Pro for Windows. You don't technically have to pick Pro. Just make sure you pick the um, correct one based on if you have a Windows or a Mac. So I'm going to click that. And for Windows, it's going to bring about slightly different, some slightly different steps than it will for a Mac. So it's going to take, I don't know, maybe two, two to five minutes, depending on your internet connection to, to download. All right, so once it finishes downloads um, or downloading, it's going to open up the jump folder. Now, if you didn't open up automatically for you, you can go to your downloads and you can search for JMP. So if I was to search for JMP, um, it's gonna bring up that file itself. Now, if you are a, a Windows user, you're going to have to extract this file. So it comes as a zip file, you're gonna have to extract it. So I'm gonna extract this file, I'm gonna extract all, all parts of it. Now for Mac users, you won't have to do this step. Mac will already have uh, unzipped it for you. And once you uh, extract all files of this folder, we're then going to be able to go down to, if we open that folder up, to setup. So if, if you're a Windows user, you won't be able to see this kind of icon for setup unless you extract it. For Mac, you should already see it. So we're going to hit setup. And we're going to follow through this process. And so once we get to the configuration stage, kind of just get next, kind of get by all this. Um, and then we'll install it. Yours may look slightly different from mine. Again, if you have a Mac compared to a Windows, you might have a slightly different um, setup visualization. But it's doing the same thing. All right, so once it's downloaded, I like to create a desktop shortcut just so I can easily access it and I don't have to kind of keep going through different applications to get there. Um, so right now I just created a desktop uh, shortcut, but if I didn't create that shortcut, which you don't have to, you can always just search for um, Jump Pro 15 in your actual uh, search bar. All right, so we're gonna open our license file and this is where things get a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna go back to our um, software request and up at the top here, you're going to see four different licensing files. There's some for Jump Pro, 
There's some for uh, the regular jump, and there's different depending if you chose a Windows or Mac. So if you have a Windows, you're going to want to choose the Windows option. A Mac, you're going to choose the OS X. Now I have the Pro version and a Windows, so I'm going to choose this first one. And it's going to download this text file. And so now when I go back to jump and I hit open license file, I'm going to go to my downloads and that jump file. So you can search if you have a bunch of downloads, you can search for JMP. I'll just kind of show you search for JMP and that text file is what we want. So I'm going to click that text file. It's going to ask for administrator name and department. Just hit OK to make your life uh, easy. We don't have to input anything there. Um, I'm going to save. Sometimes it wants you to do something weird. I want you to kind of like save it to your, uh, where is it? Desktop. There it is. Save it to your desktop. It's been accepted. So don't register. So always hit wait to register. Don't have to worry about that. And now you should have Jump. So Jump is kind of like a, a stats version of Excel in that here is going to be our, our output. And what we'll do is we'll download data sets to Jump. And so we'll analyze everything through Jump. But if you have this output right here, you have Jump, you're ready to rock and roll.